Hello my friends, this is a PET 2001 or the first PC if you ask me. It has this small chiclet like keyboard because Commodore was producing lots of calculators back then and they had a lot of those keys lying around I guess. So they put them here and it's worthless, it's horrible. The design is so cool, it's the coolest computer you can have if you're into retro collecting. It's something like you know you would see on Star Trek or some sci-fi from the 70s, the 60s, 70s. It has a standard Commodore dataset unit here and it opened up like the hood of a car. Let's get in here and you can see a pretty nice looking motherboard made by Chuck Pedal to house his 6502 CPU and prove once and for all that you can make a computer with the CPU and uh, it will fit on your desk and lots of dangerous uh, kind of uh, Chernobyl things here so you have to be very careful with your fingers where you put them and um, oh that's the problem with the missing A I was trying to type load but the A key didn't work so here's your problem we're gonna fix that of course I bought this unit 12 years ago from a guy in Germany and everything was working according to my memory now the cassette drive is not working I can hear the motor spinning but nothing's happening when I press play. Hopefully an easy fix together with that small cable there. The unit is almost in mint condition I would say. It's uh, really heavy and it smells strange and it sounds even more strange when you turn it on it's like that and sometimes even louder than that so I don't know what's going on. There is a little bit of um, flickering on the screen now and then, but I mean, it's, it's an old computer and um, I really like it. It's uh, one of my favorites. It has a lot of um, ports you can connect different, uh, I don't know, printers and it had a, that really expensive and, and crazy um, floppy drive. So, um, I just realized I, I unscrewed the wrong screws. I always do that. I don't look. If I just look, I would see there are two big ones there and um, another one down to the right. But it's like a stress relief for me, this um, retro computing thing. So I don't care if I do it wrong. It feels its purpose anyway with me. I don't know, do you feel the same sometimes when you play around with these old computers that you get really calm? Leave a comment. And also if you can somehow dig up an information of how many pets were sold. Were it 10,000 or 100,000? I mean pet 2001. I know they sold a lot of pets, but this model. And that's the strange dataset unit that's inside. That nice hard plastic from... Whoa! Do you see the serial number? 7143. That's really low. They must have sold 100,000. At least. Still very low. So we lost shock pedal recently. I would say he's the father of the whole PC business, the whole home computer business. I'm gonna make an episode on him. Oh, there's your problem. You see that red thing there? That's the drive belt. Actually, it's just a rubber band. And it's really hard and it's has morphed into some kind of plastic thing that will break if I touch it. I don't have any belts, so I'm gonna put 
another one in, I guess, it will last some years, then I have to change it again. Whoops. You see? It's like a uncooked spaghetti. So the motor up to the left drives the big wheel and the small wheel there. It's not a perfect solution, but it's gonna work. You see, everything seems all right, it's spinning. Let's try it with the tape. Perfect. Let's try to rewind. I wonder if the belt stays soft if you use it more often. And back with the um, lid here and in with the screws. Seven thousand one hundred and forty three. Hmm. I wonder if these units went into some other thing they had. Made in Taiwan. You see the PCB for the CRT up there through the hole and it's mounted with these four screws, four bolts actually. It's a very simple design, I really like it. Let's try to load anything from the tape. You can see it's just like your C64 or the VIC-20. We have uh, 7167 bytes free. That's a shitload of memory, if you ask me. found frog. Perfect. So of course I speed that up a bit. Run and we have um, back to nature. It's a Greta Thunberg game. Of course I want three bugs. Please enter skill level, I'm a zero. The best. Wow. For the calories are just counting down and we have these three bugs there and a big fat ass frog.
I don't know what, which uh, keys to press. Maybe I should check that. Nah, I'm just gonna try my way here. Oh, okay. So it's the numbers on the numerical pad. And uh, I guess I can jump up by, yeah. Okay, so the higher the number, the higher he goes. How can I eat that shit if it's behind the thing there? Dang, look at that tongue. So I have to eat the things before I can eat the bug. There we go. Got some calories in my fat ass. Mmm. Anyways, my friend, like and subscribe if you want to. Help me out a bit. Bring your friends here. Tell them about this excellent frog channel. And I will continue making videos forever. Okay?